Hi, this is Mike Marston. Um, what I want to show you today is how the BACnet client works and how we can do things in CPT with discovery, but how we can also, once discovered or once manually entered with the correct information, we can actually keep these devices and paste them in as we need them. So let me just show you what I've got here. This is how I do it. I've got my BACnet service here. I've got these um, writable integers here where I'm writing the MAC address of the service of the MSTP and the forward rate and I've got the BACnet ID of the server which is hidden behind here so there's my server and I could change that to say um, PHK1 or whatever it's called it doesn't really matter okay let's add a client so what I'm going to do now is manage an FC20 that's underneath this FG controller so let's just go into here and uh, add a client network enable it Oops. just enable it here true wait for that to come live there you go go inside there now and now use the discovery button to go and discover the devices on the network now if you've got a lot more quite a few devices it's better to increase this uh, maximum wait time just so it doesn't time out so we're discovering now so that discovery has finished now, and we have ourselves an FC20 here, MAC address 116, but it's a device ID 4388. So just remember that device ID. And if we now um, subscribe to that, you will now see there the controller was just created here. In fact, if we were to go to the wire sheet now, you will see there is the controller. And it has now populated the data to say that it's an MSTP device, it's device ID 4388, and it has a MAC address of 116. Okay, now the other way I could have done that was just to delete that and just manually without doing a discovery. So if you've got a number of VAVs and you know what they are, you could actually save them or just, and I'll show you that in a moment, and you could actually just manually add them in as client devices. So if you went to back net here and edit a client device obviously it doesn't tell you anything there all you actually need to know is that it is an MSTP device it is um, device ID 4388 and just enable it and wait for it to come live so if we just watch that there it is it told us it's an FC20 and it's MAC address 116 and on the FC20 the MAC address is set via the dip switches on the controller so the, that MAC address of 116, which is for BACnet, will also be 116 if it was Modbus. Okay, um, we have, now if I go back to the client discovery mechanism, um, you will see that we can then now go and discover what's inside that controller, even though we added it manually, it doesn't matter. And the same applies to adding points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few points in there now, and then we're going to save it and reuse it. So we've now discovered some points. Let's just go and add a few. And we'll just subscribe to these, add them in. Just go subscribe and watch it populate when I do this. Populates and it starts reading the values. What it also did, if you look at the tree on the left, is it actually created those objects. So let's now go across there. There's our, our device. If I just now organize those vertically, you'll see there are our points and in each of them you get a full point name. I think that goes up to 23 characters if you want wanted to. Okay, let's just go back and let's now save this um, as a device. Let's say you've got a number of VAVs on a project. You don't have to discover them all. You just change the device ID. So let me show you that. So let's just go and um, say this. Create user library. Give it a name. FC20. 116 ID and let's put that under default and press OK. Now let's delete it. If you go back to the client now, you will see there's nothing there. What I'm going to do now is just paste that in manually. So again, I could just go and add a device like so. Backnet client device and just call that 4388 my FC make it MSTP so you don't have to discover them every time and then it will just populate the data in here as it comes online and there it is 
let's just delete that now and now what we're going to do is add the user library that we just saved if you go to default here and you go and grab the FC 20116 ID right wait for it to come back there it is it populates the um, device name just came there FC 20 if we go inside it now you'll see there are all the points that we created earlier so let's say you had a VAB box and let's say you had them you know on one MSTP bus all you really need to do is discover the first one and then just add them in manually or this way afterwards and then just change the device ID and um, it will come back and tell you what the MAC address is just to confirm that it worked. So I hope that was useful.